I have put our 10 most viral recipes all in one video for you. And stay tuned to the end because I threw in a number 11 there just because we really like it. If cookies are your love language, here's the recipe for the best brown butter chocolate chip cookies of all time. Start by putting three quarters of a cup of butter on low heat on the stove. First, it will start to bubble up like this, and eventually it'll turn this beautiful golden brown color. Take it off the heat, then add in one cup of brown sugar and one quarter cup of white sugar. Mix that until just combined, then add in one large egg yolk, a whole egg, and a tablespoon of vanilla. This is three times as much vanilla as normal, and I promise you it's worth it. Then add in one and three quarter cups of spoon and level all-purpose flour, three quarter teaspoon baking soda, and one teaspoon salt. Mix this until just combined, then add in two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips or eight ounces of chopped chocolate. From there, scoop your cookie dough into two ounce balls, roll them between your hands, and then I like to do this trick where you add a few more pieces of chocolate to the top of each cookie. Then you need to chill these cookies for at least 30 minutes. This really helps them to deepen in flavor and leads to a better texture. Cover them, place them in the fridge, then when you're ready, bake at 350 for 11 to 12 minutes. Always top your cookies with a little sea salt, and that is it. Best chocolate chip cookies. Tonight for dinner, we're having Thanksgiving casserole in the crock pot. Start by peeling and chopping up your potatoes. We want these super thin because we want the texture almost to be like a mashed potato. Add that to the crock pot with 5 tablespoons of butter and 1 third cups of milk. Don't forget to add salt. I'm going to chop up some chicken breast, but ham or turkey would work even better. Cut these up into about one inch cubes. I'm adding sage, rosemary, garlic powder, and more salt. You're gonna add this to the crock pot and you're gonna push it all down. You're gonna use one cream of chicken, Put that over the top. I'm using chicken flavored stuffing, but the cornbread or whatever else would work perfectly fine. Just go ahead and pat that on down. Frozen green beans. So we're adding another can of cream of chicken. Throw in some mozzarella. We're gonna go ahead and give it a cover and put it on high for four hours. My casserole is done, so I'm gonna turn this off. And if you can see here, it's bubbling. This thing is hotter than Hades. I'm gonna top it with some fried onions. This part is totally optional. These bang bang chicken skewers were super quick and my family loved them. I cut up two chicken breasts into bite sized pieces and then seasoned them with everything pictured. Drizzle some olive oil and give it a mix. Now you can add your chicken chunks to a skewer and air fry on 400 for about 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes is up, flip them and air fry them for about 10 more minutes. It will depend on your air fryer, just cook them until they're 165 degrees. The sauce is my favorite part. It's Kewpie mayo with some sweet chili sauce. Brush it on and this was so good y'all. Everyone is talking about the omelet from the bear, so you know I had to give it a try. First, you strain the eggs and whisk at the same time, which was so cool, they're so silky. Now we're gonna go about our French omelet skills. I'm using the same technique that I used in the other French omelet video I made, just whisking until those eggs turn into soft curds, then painting them kind of into one flat line. Last time, you guys had a lot to say about the salt, so I seasoned them in the pan instead. I still love the technique of covering the omelet for one minute off the heat to help set that bottom to make it easier to fold. I should mention, I did this borzen prep before I started cooking the eggs, I felt very clear stuff, it's right here, but I piped the cheese perpendicular closest to the handle. To roll the omelet, I start at the bottom closest to that cheese and then kind of roll and tilt the pan at the same time and finish that momentum on the plate. A little butter for that high gloss shine at the end. Chives are definitely expected for an omelet, but one thing that was unexpected about this omelet from the bear is that Sydney crushes sour cream and onion chips on top at the end. The contrast between the creamy borzen and the salty crunchy chips really makes the perfect bite. Cheeseburger casserole. This is a great dish if you've got a family to feed. I baked a couple of baked potatoes, cut them into rounds, sprayed my 9 by 9 laid them out, got a pound of ground beef, seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic, paprika. Once that's cooked, you want to drain off the grease, then you're going to season some onions, colored bell peppers, put your ground beef back in there, and then a can of cream of mushroom soup. And then we're going to shred some cheese, freshly grated sharp cheddar cheese, and then we're going to put some cheese on top of the potatoes, then that meat mixture, more cheese. We're going to bake it off for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Cheeseburger casserole, great for families.
tonight's dinner was garlic butter steak bites and baked potatoes made in the air fryer. Then I make this one about 30 to 40 minutes before their bedtime. I brush some potatoes with olive oil, season them with salt, pepper, garlic, and then they go in the air fryer at 400 degrees. Then I go ahead and cube up a couple of ribeyes and that steak goes into a bowl with some olive oil and our favorite steak seasoning. I let that hang out on the counter while we do the bedtime routine and when I come back it's time to pull out the potatoes. Once those are out, the steak bites go in for 6 to 7 minutes at 400 degrees, which is just enough time to get the potatoes ready. I like to keep those simple with a little bit of butter, shredded cheddar, and sour cream. This one's definitely not fancy, but sometimes you just need a late night air fryer dinner date with your spouse. Sunday and today I'm sharing chicken and potatoes. So spray your crock pot very well with nonstick cooking spray. Layer in a half a bag of southern style hash browns, some avocado oil and seasonings. I do have everything listed at the end of this video. Then you're going to layer on some diced chicken breast. Then you're going to go in with another layer of those southern style hash browns right over top. And then once I have everything in my crock pot, I like to go pretty heavy handed with some salt and pepper because if you do not season in this recipe well then it will be bland so don't skip that step then i go over all of this with three-fourths cup of heavy whipping cream pop the lid on and let it cook on low for about five to six hours until my chicken is done and my potatoes are tender then i'm going to go over with some shredded cheddar cheese and some mozzarella cheese let that melt give it a good stir and then top with some parsley and some bacon bits this is ooey gooey and cheesy